avoiding those those chunky pieces of metal in their hands oh, right there. Oh, great view, bloody. This is this is, this is <laughs> nice. Cool. This is worse in than your distance. views. There we go. That's, that's nice. That's pretty good. Anyway, um, so LDLC, I imagine they will probably choose CT. Hellraisers, I have no idea. Um, but generally speaking, LDLC have been doing uh, better and better recently. Obviously, having some changes, in, you know, just make, you know, just finally tuning their lineup a little bit and who does what and how the team actually runs. As you see there, it looks like actually LDLC might lose this ninth round after all. But uh, either way, Hellraiser's incredibly inconsistent. I think that's the, the easiest way to put it at the moment. They've had some really sick results. Angels beasting. But um, generally, we only really see consistency from Angel. Simple's been doing a great job uh, overall as well. But the results of the team have been very up and down. And you can see, people are losing faith. Look at this. They're losing faith. Losing faith, losing skins. No one wants to bet on Hellraisers anymore. It's too scary to yeah. bet on Hellraisers now. But they do have Simple in the mix now. Um, but we'll see how long it takes them to kind of get to their maximum potential with this newer lineup. So fingers crossed. Hope to see a competitive match here. You know, I think I think Simple could make a lot of difference. Obviously, he is. Uh, we can, I think, safely assume going to be the primary AWP here for Hellraisers over Markov, who has opted for the. AK. I don't know if it's because maybe he felt typecast of using the uh, AWP or for other reasons, but uh, we are going to go into the pistol round here. All right, what do we see? What do we see? What do we see? We've got loads of T's just chilling, just spreading ac across the map at the moment. We've got obviously just the checking, as we can see from Kucha here, just on any aggressive pushes. They're just playing the standard round right now. I've got Dozer checking for the pushes in a, a long house, trying to get some info. Is there any stepping? Can you see any players? Because that's going to inform them as to where they're going to go right now. And uh, so they're going to slowly make their way out here, out of mid. There goes the smoke, actually. That's, that's a interesting, that's isn't it? That's a different it? smoke, yeah. I mean, they do it's run not the one we it. normally see. Into the side, if we get the first kill on Smith, we have kill that should be coming in onto Kyoshima. There it is. And they do have the bomb site. Very simple stuff. And... Uh, LDLC going for the retake. They don't have a kit on anybody. This is the problem. They've got to be quick here. Shoxy's going to have to make a kill very, very, uh, very, very speedily. They must make haste right now as LDLC just uh, taking their time about things. Shoxy just jumping around outside, like just taunting them more than anything, really. And it looks like uh, Happy going to get a nice little shot onto Kucha as their bomb's ticking away. And this round is definitely looking good for Hellraisers at the moment. Still, that timer is ticking away. And the odds are going down and down here for LDLC to make this work. They're just going, trying to get the exit frags, trying to get that money from those kills. Um, and Happy, can you get the, another kill? Nice. Little pistol there. Happy in Shoxy mode at the moment. Uh, or should I say Scream? <coughs> so um, LDLC didn't really push the site, but uh, weren't really interested in saving their armor either. Just going for the exit frags, more interested in the money for the second round it seems and we do have the scout from happy the scout becoming a staple purchase on the second round where the first round has been lost these days and uh, he made two frags so he could easily buy the armor and the scout so that was really nice that they decided to go for those exits instead of just charging in and dying um, so we can see how is just breaking them right now just sticking together pushing up short should be pretty easy right now this is going to make happy's uh, scout a little bit difficult to use. Look at this. I actually will get a kill onto Simple, who's, who was trying to catch some players rotating from mid. But overall, it's, it's uh, looking quite good for Hellraisers. Now they got the bomb down. We'll see what they choose to do here. Smithy has uh, picked up an AK. MVK with a 5-7 at the moment. So we've got uh, Smith backing off, it seems. Possibly trying to pick ahead if somebody peeks on short. And Happy does take out Dozier. He's going to look for more frags, but he's being faced by three at the same time. And uh, he will lose that to the numbers game. So again, we've got Smith just um, looking for some frags, but uh, does want to save as well. And NBK going to look to get a sneaky headshot here or one or two frags. So you see when he got decides to peek. Oh, don't want to die after time. And NBK going to barely survive just about. And gets a little cheeky kill at the end as well. So uh, generally speaking, LDLC, they're, they're doing OK. You know, they're doing a decent enough job so far in, in these uh, rounds following the the loss. They got the six pistol. they got six frags in two rounds, so uh, they're getting their economical damage in. And we've got MBK with a f with a FAMAS purchase here, so uh, we've got four with armor. MBK does go down at long though. So they're making their way up, they got the smoke on them. And there is a push from Dark from Happy gonna take down Kucha. And uh, four and four now is the situation. 
Simple gonna aggressively push crossover, does get the first kill there. Shocks with the scout, gonna get the shot onto Simple. And that is the AK just falling onto the floor over there. So, Dozier catching the players, trying to wrap their way, their way around. Shocks with a sick, sick headshot there on the scout. And they go to a two on two. Can they do this? It's actually looking not so bad for them. Dozier has left the building. Well, at least his head has. I mean, that was a pretty sharp shot there by Shot D and He's still doable here. Shocks with another kill. He's got three kills on that scout at the moment. Marklos left alive. He, oh, nice shot there under Shocksy. Great bursts from the AK of Markloff there to secure the round. But this damage, look at look at the amount of kills we're seeing here from uh, from LDLC. That they're actually actually getting together quite a few kills and doing that damage. Look how stretched this buy is. Yeah, we've got NBK with a uh, big popper pump, but he is playing in long. So as long as he can get towards uh, the door by the barrel, then he will be in a good position to make use of this. going to go towards the pit and the air. This is a position you want with uh, a Mag-7 or an AWP, and uh, I think we've got another push from Happy. Yeah, the LDLC really loves to get a guy in dark, and uh, this isn't a big committal to this dark takes, just Happy off of his spawn, but he gets the kill, and he gets out of there. His teammates cover him, and now they can just fall back into a more standard setup. Looks like... We have the 2-1-2 two, two here for LDLC. And Kellraisers are just waiting, just letting the clock run down a little bit, looking for some picks. And here is the boost over that smoke. Hellraisers will be unaware that LDLC have one guy with a Nova and Kiyoshima with only a pistol here. And they won't know their positions either, so they won't uh, know where to push just yet. Looking for an opening at the moment. We can see if uh, looks like we're going to have a double peak here on mid. Oh, that <laughs> that flash was perfect, and Markov gets two easy frags, and we do have Shoxi on the B bomb site with the scout, and he has been a menace this thus far. Not really going to get a headshot just yet. He's going to go down straight away to simple, and this should be pretty simple now as well for that that bomb plant. I can't believe I just said that. God damn it! Why is he called simple? This sucks. But anyway, MBK going to come in with a great shot there from from the Nova, picks up the AWP, might just be able to string some frags together, but uh, it's going to be very difficult. Might just be worth it to just save this and uh, try to prevent them from leaving the site, the uh, radius of the bomb explosion. And it's like that's what they're going to go for, just going to get the hell out of there. And they're going to lose that buy up, but they at least uh, are able to scavenge an AK and an AWP from it. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, going from a, from a Nova to an AWP is a great... Uh, improvement. So this will be a valuable save here for LDLC, especially for Smith as well. And you can see NBK hasn't tarnished his armor, which means he can get a helmet for only 350. But um, someone was saying the other day that the French teams don't really opt for helmets that often when they're up against uh, the AKs of the opposing team. So may just stick with. And as we can see, we've got Kirishima and NBK helmets only. Shoxi going naked with the AWP here. So. Uh, Probably the best gun for that kind of situation. And he requires one shot wasted above. And yeah, we have the standard so they're coming in from Hellraisers once again. So far just taking it very easy. LDLC with a very passive setup as well. They got one guy, it's it's MBK, just kind of pushed, not not down the oh no, he's down the pit, I think. Oh no, he's not down the pit, he's just like very kind of deep on that angle. This and is he is pretty much alone now, and they are going to go for the mid push. This is actually quite strong against what LDLC have here. If they can get a good entry um, here, they don't have anyone come from dark, so that's the only thing going for LDLC. But here goes Kyoshima out from the flash. Beautiful flash coming in from the teammate there on B, and the kills coming in from behind that smoke, and they are cutting Hellraisers down at the moment. Got Dozier and Kucha remaining. Kucha under a lot of pressure, going to get a kill. Dozier picks up one as well, and there is the return from Happy as we do have Kucha left alone. And let's see if he's able to get any more damage done here. We know that LDLC are strapped for cash, so he does have the bomb. He's going to be able to get the plan as well. So this is actually this is actually a good situation here for Hellraisers. And Kucha might just find himself an easy frag here. There are three players on coming now, and it's all too late for him. But they got the bomb down. And they killed two players for LDLC. So despite winning the round, I mean, they, their money shouldn't be that great. Yeah, so Kucha's going to have a bit of money to play with. And uh, I don't think we're going to see a force buy here. 
they are four one up, so they can probably afford to opt for the uh, proper eco. Uh, that said, here comes the AWP, so I guess they are going uh, balls to the wall here. Simple with the AWP, they've all got helmets, save for Kucho, just with armor. Two Galils, AWP, a CZ, and a Deagle here, so um, they don't want the... Oh. They don't want the CTs Damn. to build their economy, but um, that AWP has gone to waste as kind of vintage Smithsy comes out with the flash and, and uh, AWP kill in mid. Damn, that was simple, taken out straight away. Okay, you know, Kucha's going to be able to pick up that orb safely, but still, that's a big loss there. Here is Happy from below once again. It's like his home is lower dark. It does get taken out, but already he spots all the players towards short. This is going to allow DLC to reposition to understand like how to deal with this most effectively. Got the smoke coming out from uh, Dozier there to slow the round down a little bit. Obviously, they're not going to be pushing through that smoke, so they, they're just too aware right now that LDLC knows what's going on. But look at this. The double coming in from MBK. He just flanked straight around. They saw all the players on short, more or less, so it was an easy call for MBK to just push long. So great information uh, finding there from LDLC from Happy. That's that's what that position, Lower Dark, is about. He was hiding there. He kind of popped out kind of mid-round and really surprised them. And... Uh, Looks like Harrys can't do what uh, FX Show can do when he does the solo off by on an eco. <laughs> so you saw that smoke there from Smiths. Um, that's the smoke people do when they when they want to get to uh, be a little more safely. So they bounce it off the box so it goes to the back of the crossover. So you can still look onto short if you have an AWP who needs to have a look there. So uh, just something to note. And we have a short rush coming in. So simple, it's going to be dropping under Happy, but he will find himself getting eliminated by the M4. Shocks as well, very strong so far with this AWP, picking up a double already. Happy coming in onto Kucha, there's the jump shot onto Dozier, and it is a very quick cleanup. But Hellraisers, they got the result that they were intending to try to get, so kind of the best case for Hellraisers. They were going for the plant, not for economic damage, but just to uh, try to get their economy going. And looks like, you know, because of that plant, we're going to be seeing the buy instead of what may have possibly been um, an eco, considering how low their money is. We do get the AWP coming out from Simple, and he's not going to be looking to die to Smith so early this time. He's waiting for the flash. But is it going to come? No flash just yet. So yeah, I like that Simple is still on the angle, but playing it very cautiously. And now they're, they're going to know that the AWP is not on mid. He's actually pushing aggressively here into the upper dock. Going to take down Kucha and fall back. Well played to Smith. Once again, LDLC throwing in those aggressions. This is what's been really winning them rounds and getting them back into the game against Hellraisers. NBK's positioning. Um, if Dozier were to push, his shadow would expose his position before he'd, he'd be able to see NBK. So NBK would be more than ready to uh, take the pick there. So uh, that's just uh, one of the advantages of NBK's positioning on the side of pit there. And the T's are going to move towards the B-bomb site. LDLC are so aggressive on this map. They are so unpredictable. It's crazy. I mean, a lot of the times I've been watching NBK fairly closely, and he hasn't, uh, he's been fairly solid on long, hasn't pushed too much, but then he caused havoc in that previous round. So uh, LDLC looking very dangerous on Dust2. I think this is a veto against them. Oof, well. Simple. <laughs> Putting a shot into the shoulder of Dozier, I think it was. And, but they're going to make their way in regardless. They do get the entry onto Kyoshima. But LDLC, they're all over this side. They're just charging straight through the smoke. And in go the frags for LDLC. They're taking them down one after another. It's a no contest. And Hellraisers, oh my god, they're, they're going to be reeling from that round. That was a, that was a nasty state of affairs. And LDLC, just like you said, it's not just that they're, <laughs> they're happy to get aggressive through you know, the early rounds, but it just straight through smokes into a rush. They're, they're happy to run in there. Yeah, the, uh, Hellraisers were four and up, but they all have all of a sudden just been completely shut out of this map at the moment. It is four, four, and LDLC looking very, very strong. We've got two on long here, and it looks like well, Hellraisers is the now. gonna go for the push. And Shox is actually gonna get the kill as well, so he's playing the spawn. And I like that LDLC are doing this. They're, they're giving like Smiths on an M4 right now. He gave his the AWP away to Shox, and Shox played it off the spawn. So. That's another awesome thing about this lineup is that they are so comfortable with playing dynamically with the weapons. It's fantastic as well that this this uh, the dynamicness is coming from their CT side. Like you, you really have no idea if you're if you're facing this team, you have no idea what their setup's going to be on any round. It seems to change almost every single yeah. round. It's crazy. Yes, yeah, it's, it's actually really interesting how much variety and diversity that they're pulling in here. Happy going to drive by into Dozier, and we do get. Uh, 
Shox, you know, guarding short by himself. It's very unlikely he's going to get aggressive there. They don't have anyone forward to play with him. He's got the defensive position. Actually going to just go out on a limb here and go for a peek just to find something. There is Angel, I believe, right around the corner. Shox, is he going to be able to spot Angel in time? Who's going to win the Angel? Here he comes. It's going to be Shox. Uh, how is his Angel just turning his back at the wrong moment? But there is the return from Simple. And we do have... A good situation now for Hellraiser. It's already a situation that they can work with, as we do have Happy alone here. They might just be able to take him out. Very timely smoke grenade. Let's see if they are able to push through with a flash or something. Looks like, looks like Happy is just going to flash himself forward, and he's going to get taken down. Very aggressive stuff there coming out from Happy. And uh, Hellraisers make their way on to the site. It's a three on three. And they are slowly but surely getting position. There is an MBK in the distance with the AK. He's going to get himself too. And there's Simple left alone now. Gets the shot onto MBK. Swaps for the, the rifle. Kiyoshima over by the cross. It waits patiently and his patience rewarded. And we see our DLC picking up another round. I wonder if Hellraisers were a bit slow on plateau there. They were they left themselves exposed. They were just waiting for someone to peek, but the peek allowed the CTs to the, the other CTs to rotate towards them as well. So kind of allowed the web to close on them before they could get close to getting the bomb down there. And we'll see who wins this duel. So we've got three people in mid now. Low tunnels has been pushed by two players. And uh, you can see Hellraisers are expecting it. Kusha is miles away and there are trades coming in in mid. Simple takes out Smiths and uh, Shoxi takes out Angel. Simple takes out NBK. This is a war of attrition at the moment. So th this was looking really good for LDLC. We, they, we saw how, how much map control that they had, but Hellraiser is there finding those picks. Markov going to be pushing along right now. He's going to have a one-on-one -on -one against Shox. Here he goes. Does whiff the first shot. Now they know exactly where he is in Kucha. It couldn't be more free than that. Takes down Happy. And we have a two, a one on four now as Simple gets the pick. And this is just a fantastic you know, round of individual skill coming out here from Hellrangers. It's just winning those Angels. And we see finally Kyoshima go down. And that was the first time that, that LDLC had the two-man dark take. They like the committed dark take where the guy comes around short and they have they build the setup on that. And uh, they, they, they couldn't really use it. So that's uh, an interesting precedent because usually that works very well for them. This back and forth is kind of crazy. Got to say, I mean, this is just madness <laughs> what's going on. I mean, since prior to this LDLC lineup, you didn't really see this kind of craziness on Dust 2. Two orbs for them now as well. It's the first time that they've done that. So yeah. they're, they're, they're already mixing it up again. And Shock's going to be alone. Oh, no, he's not alone. He's got MBK with him. So this this favors a B split right now, this setup from LD LDLC. And Angel, Angel's actually going to get a pick on the Smiths right now. So they have so much time, they might just sit back and play, play with the time a little bit. But they're slowly edging out on mid. And Angel's going to throw that flash, looking for the shots. Going to just gun down Kiyoshima where he stands. And Hellraisers make the move into that B bomb site. They're going to have themselves the wraparound. They get that split going. And now the bomb should be going down momentarily as it does arrive. It's currently in transit through the dark now. But it will be going down. And MBK going to find the pick. Oh, shocks! Gets a close range shot on Dozier. That looked like a guaranteed one. MBK going to make himself a frag as they push into the site. Now it's just simple in Kucha. Things are starting to look better and better for the French lineup. And as they say that, MBK does get dealt with. Is that AWP off of Simple? And things slow down a little bit. They do have two kits e a kit each, so LDLC can definitely find a way in. But the fire, the smoke. Uh, Chok's just going to go straight through the smoke. Oh, doesn't get the shot. Kucha takes him out. And there is the second from Simple. Fantastic save. Nice double there from Simple and Angel. And uh, Hellraiser's tie up the game once again. Look at this. No I mean, only slight money control for LDLC. Yeah, I mean, this is a great back and forth, as we, as we said before. And and Hellraisers are looking stronger with this AWP. I mean, it is 6-6, six, six, but you have to bear in mind that it's it, it's really difficult to play against this LDLC side, who have about 150 tactics with Dust2. Again, now we've got <laughs> we've got three people pushing down long. Simple Hiver does have a good spawn, takes out the first player, and uh, we've got movement straight up short at the moment. So they've spotted they uh, had numbers and they're looking to take them out. So here we go, Angel, the forward man. So often is he a very strong entry fragger, looking for those shots right now, contesting with two players. Does drop the, the smoke actually, and that's going to help massively. And still, the kill's just not quite coming easily enough. Those are going to get a very easy one onto Kiyoshima as Smith makes his way up with the AWP. LDLC slowly closing in onto the bomb site. It's a three and three right now. The AWP and the M4 still alive. And MBK going to make a frag, gets gunned down from the back, and happy. 
finally goes down as well to Dozier, and we have ourselves another round for Hellraisers. Okay, so asking for a quick pause to come in here. So uh, probably adjusting something. Okay, Kishim has got some problems with the interwebs. So, uh, I mean, how hello, here we are, Surprise. back in the game. We are back, and Surprise. we are ready. And so are they, because they're playing. There's no more pause action here. We're straight into the match. Six to seven. Hellraiser's kind of got generating some momentum. Hopefully the pauses haven't messed with that. Worth noting, Kishima is back, so they haven't got a sub as we were expecting. So whoever's uh, downloading the hardcore uh, chess playing has uh, turned it off. Here we go. Angel, first, almost the first man up. Looking for the entry frag with the Mac 10. <laughs> Would have been pretty <laughs> awesome. I know he's good, but... Trying to pick it. The thing is, if he hits one of them in the head, they got no armor. He might kill them. He could have killed someone on plat maybe with the Mac 10. I'm not sure what the range is there. There you go. Smith with the push there. Going to actually catch off Kucha. Spots actually one more, I think, just barely. And he's going to back away. So they have a lot of info here right now. And they should be able to work out that the B split is definitely in the works right now. Or even just the B straight up push as they make, make their way back into position. Simple. Going to pick off Smith on the entry to the side. There is the next entry frag coming in here for Hellraisers. We do have LDLC making their way back frantically for that site retake, but Hellraisers, they're going to get the bomb down. They're going to have their after plant set up, and Shoxy trying to do some, some magic with the scout. And Shox, is he going to be able to deliver here? MK going to toss a, a flash over for his teammates to allow them to go in there. Oh, Shox, he does deliver. Takes down Simple. Going to go straight in there. Dozier going to make the pick, but already that's going to allow Happy in the site. MBK going to make his way in as well. And they're going to get the frag on... Oh, it's just Markov left. And MBK, no bullets. There it is. Switches to the M4. Takes down Markov, but there is surely no time running around. Just like, like it's a, a maypole. And... Oh, he... What a he, clutch he round. Got, he got the defuse after running around the site like a headless chicken. Ring of roses. He gets there. That's, that's nice. I oh, like what a crazy um, return back from extended breaks here. And that is going to allow LDLC to fall by. Again, note the um, lack of helmets on the people. This is this is a choice they make, not necessarily because of uh, lack of funds, but that is uh, 350 they save every time. And Smiths with that dirty smoke frag gives LDLC the early advantage in this uh, last round of the first half. And slowly Angel going to make his way up. He's got to make a pick. He's going to make an opening in this round, especially considering that they're all committed here together. Pick has to come very soon. Entry needs to be good here for Angel. Let's see what they're able to do. Looks so far like they're making their way in. LDLC, they are readying themselves to set up for this. Smith with the first frag onto Angel. Smoke going down, but Smith with a good angle. Oh, just barely managing to get more frags here, LDLC. And Smith whisks the shot, and Dozier is going to go down. And LDLC with a quick couple rounds there. A very, very clutch last round, but this one looked very easy. A, pr a pretty um, a pretty rare, just straight up for all four short movement. But sometimes, you know, that's surprise if you get the entry frag. If someone on the CT side is not in position, maybe it works. Yeah, so... We are going to be going into the second half now, so maybe things will slow down a bit here for the pistol round, though knowing LDLC, the A-team truck might just burst through A-long or uh, B-tunnels here. We're about to find out. And, uh, it is going to be a B-push, it seems, with Happy just spotting in mid. Simple on 24 HP already, and he's got armor, so possibly got dinked in the head there by Happy. There's uh, Kutra in a really, really sick position there. Does pop up the head of MBK as Yoshi Mate makes his way in for a frag. Shoxi gets the kill into Kutra. Simple coming in from behind. He is dealt with. Cast aside as Dark Control remains for LDLC. Dozy going to challenge Dark Control once again. Perhaps nope. Goes to the, through the double doors. Going to combine forces with Markov outside the bomb site. So that bomb is ticking away. And Markov does have the kit here. And in goes Dozy. Just looking for those angles. Not going to see anything just yet. Going to go for the peak. Gets denied. And Markov against four players. Does take down Smith. But it looks like Shox will kill him in the end. And Shox with the double. And all is well for LDLC. Winning that pistol round. And uh, Hellraisers. Looks like they're going for just a straight up eco. So this is going to be an expensive uh, side if the Hellraisers team are to 
come back into this unless they lose this unless they win sorry this eco kucha does get shot through the door down to 59 hp and we do have uh, some extreme aggression here on the b side from ldlc but looks like the pistols are there in place angel with a quick double with the p250 does significant damage to Kiyoshima, maybe just enough for his teammates to clean up, but they do have you know, pistols still making their way into the site here. The bomb is not actually down, it's still stuck in dark, and it looks like Hellraiser is able to even up the score, square it up, but there's going to be the frag on to Simple to make it a two-on-one. We've got Markov coming in from the window. He is going to get taken out by Smiths, and that's going to be the round there for LDLC, as uh, they, only, they, they lose three guys, so this is pretty nice for Hellraisers, and uh, they're going to bring out the eco now. Yeah, it stops the LDLC team from running away with the economy, having to rebuy for at least three players. And uh, waiting to see what the last guys have. It looks like we're going to have two pistolers actually here. Smith's obviously saving for the AWP, and NBK has fifteen hundred dollars. So uh, not going for the sawn off. It seems Happy does have thirty four in the bank though. So um, maybe they're going for double AWP in the next round. Yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, could also be just because they. They don't want to put a weapon on someone, and they they can just sack those players if it comes to that to try to push areas to see if there's uh, you know a stack there. It's another possibility for them. It's like MBK going to take down Angel, and so far they they are in a position where they can actually just converge on one location and hit hit a site. They have uh, already those two picks, and that should be safe for them. But how is going to push down short as to, uh, two here? Markov and Dozier going in. This could be huge damage to LDLC. Markov going to jump up. They catch two players in the back. Smith. Oh, Smith won't go down. And Dozier and Markov fall for only one frag. And it could have been so much more. But LDLC defends pretty well. Okay, so 7,000 on Happy, 69 on Smith. Are we going to see the WAWP? Looks are like discussions are being had. Looks like only the one for Smith. It's going to be. A little late to mid, but uh, ooh, in good time to get there before Simple. And uh, we'll see where Simple is going with his AWP. So he's on the short. Oh, in the face, baby! And that's uh, LDLC down to four plays. That's a good start for Hellraisers here. Well, four rounds down at the moment. Yeah, and that's a, that's a really nice pick there straight away. They get another one. Simple just falls back. Even gets the second kill. They tried to re-challenge him there, and now this is a crazy bad situation. They just invested like in the orb, you know, in the full buy, and uh, there goes the pop flash over as Smith is uh, so characterized to do. But Simple's ready for this on the angle. Simple, is he going to get the third kill here? There it is. He gets it onto Smith, and it is a no contest here for Simple today, as uh, we have Happy left over, and they haven't lost a single man. Going to spam through the doors there, and. This is looking so cool for Hellraisers. They're going to get a lot of economic momentum here. And that is the that is what allows the CT side and Dust2 to really start doing some interesting stuff. Smith's, uh, simple saw Smith's ass hanging out like a bikini babe in an R&B video and uh, <laughs> got the frag there while Smith's couldn't see anything. So great play there. Just using the inches and the millimeters um, to kind of make the difference. And we are going to see a force buy here from LDLC. NBK with the Galil, which will give uh, the CTs the extra mile against him, say for Markolov, who isn't rocking a helmet at the moment. A uh, bit of a slow around here from LDLC. Looking to approach mid with that pop flash there from Smith that goes off the wall. Oh, it doesn't top aim it correctly, and it will hit the door. Give the position away to the CTs, who... Uh, Really good stuff coming in, though, from Hellraiser so far. Defending well, good flashes. These counter grenades are pretty effective. And already Angel with a double. Kiyoshim is still making his way through, though. But the bomb is dropped outside. There it is. There's the pickup. And he doesn't get the double. MBK comes in from the site, though. And he still can't quite finish off Markolov. And we do have the bomb, the bomb to be recollected very soon. MBK tries to hold this position down, but he's really exposed. And Doe's just going to swing around. He's going to find MBK over by the window. Easy enough to pick him off. And Happy's left against three. Markov in the back, prowling. And he does find the frag onto Happy as he pounces at the end of the round. We have an 11 9 scoreline. Hellraiser's doing a marvelous job. Again, I think, I think this. Uh it's still early days yet here with Simple, but I think this is the AWP that they deserved and the one they needed. 
and is putting in work at the moment. We'll see where Simple going for the mid pick now, but uh, no one's ready to face him. Only P250s here. And he gets one crazy snapshot on uh, NBK peaking short. We've only got one player close to mid at the moment, but it looks like they're going to try and overwhelm him with the pistols. There are a few players there for Hellraiser. Simple getting another tag and a third one. Is he going for an ace here? So look, he's just gonna, he's actually gonna make like closer distance towards them. And Simple might just find the ace, pulls out the knife. He is a maniac and Smith pulls the AWP off of his dead body. This is actually kind of a big deal. Now LDLC's AWP has an AWP. If he is able to pick up kills here, this could suddenly turn very bad, but he's not gonna get anything as they swarm him down and the L Razors are almost at a tied situation here on the scoreboard. And their money is looking better and better. LDLC keep dying face down in these uh, recent rounds, but they are still one round up. Back on the full buy here, but well, all with AKs. I guess the full buy for them would be an AWP as well. Smith's going to smoke off mid, and uh, we'll see where Simple is. He was looking mid at the moment. Going to try and peek up to short, but uh, doesn't have the angle. Nade won't connect to anyone. We've got two people in lower tunnel here for LDLC. Again, just a big presence on mid, and uh, Happy just keeping an eye out, making sure they don't, there's no one flanking from long. Uh, keep Dozier a bit paranoid, ready to um, counter flash there if there's a push, but they are going to be going through mid at the moment. And then they come, Markloff with two frags quickly, simple with the third, and Kucha going to chime in. Very easy stuff here for for Hellraisers. And I, th I feel like it's worth talking about that smoke and sword and happy. We saw it a couple of times as he's going to get a pick up a frag there. And that's just to stop or delay rotation as they're doing a B split. Because it delays the guys along even more. Happy actually finds himself another pick off, so we'll continue that for in a moment. As he's, he's yet to lose any health here. He's got 50 seconds left on the clock, and Marcos on a very low amount of health. It is going to go down. But yeah, that's, uh, that smoke is really interesting because it, it forces, it, they can't peak from that angle anymore, and that, that's also going to allow them to push long as well. So. Hellraisers are in this position where they, they can't quickly rotate from long safely, and then the mid push comes out and it makes the mid the beast player even stronger. I never noticed some of the terrorists have little walkie talkies on their belts. Oh really? I I didn't notice that either. Yeah, I just saw it on uh, Happy's cadaver. But never mind. We have a few people in the tunnels here and we are gonna see oh maybe a bit of a tease of a push there from Angel, but the side is against it. Uh, maybe expecting the eco. And they are exiting the bomb site at possibly the wrong time. One thing to note is if you throw the bomb down in uh, in B apps here, you can hear it from the A bomb site, which gives away the um, direction of the play here. But we'll see how this goes. And so far, it's only future loss here. Angel gonna quickly drop MBK to get the bomb picked up again. They do actually take Angel down, so that could be a weapon. But if it exposed, those are gonna actually fall down to Kiyoshima. And Simple is left alive against two players here. Remarkable how well they've done with these frags. They're messing up some of the flashes there, but does manage to get himself in the bomb site. So one on two, Simple not able to execute. And that is just a very easy push through. Well, maybe not easy, but they just push straight through. It's Simple at least, just a, just a straight B rush. And they do get themselves all the frags. The trade is coming in. Yeah, I don't know if Hellraisers were keeping an eye on um, the kind of economic, the, the, the eco timing there of the T's because they had pretty much exited the bomb site and allowed the T's to just get the bodies in there. So they were up against too many guns and it was too difficult for them to recover. So now DLC trying to play a standing round, but we have a bit of an aggressive peak from Simple actually on short. So I have to see what Simple's doing. And they're doing a push on the dark as well, the upper dark. They're quickly going to try to discover what happens, but MBK guns them both down. And now Hellraiser's in a very bad position as we're going to see LDLC favoring a B push very heavily right now. Markov had to make some kills happen. He couldn't do it. So now Hellraiser's, let's quickly check their money situation right now. And uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be a save for them. Having absolutely no money. Where did their bank go? Yeah, this is two brutal rounds in a row for Hellraisers. And uh, things were going their way. They were playing really strongly. But now it's all falling apart here for Hellraisers. And we've got multiple flashes coming in. We've got the flank coming in from the A-bomb site as well. And they are going for them. All of the whole LDLC team. Two of them fall down. Happy will find Dozier though. And only simple remains of the AWP. And he will get taken out from A from Kiyoshima. So... Uh, Feed the animals here on the uh, T side of LDLC. 
It's like a pack of lions coming for some innocent deer. Alright. Well, you don't know if the deers are innocent, do you? I don't know. they got big eyes and they all criminal. look innocent. Criminal deers. Either way, LDLC right now 13 to 11. Their momentum looking fantastic. Smith does pick off Simple. Simple going for a risky trade there. And that's also Shoxi pushing straight out the double doors. Shoxi is in right now looking for the picks. He gets one onto Kucha. He gets the next shot onto Markloff. And he might just get another one again. And he is just demolishing them completely. Just no respect for the, the pistols at all. And an easy round for LDLC. This is looking really bad for uh, uh, Hellraisers right now. And they're going to have to eco again here. They can't eco. They have to force because it, there's no yeah, overtime oh, and point, LDLC yeah. are on 14. So it is all in right now. All the chips are on the table and Simple has the scout. Again, this is a situation where they may need to get an early pick to get a strong early advantage in this round. So we may see some pushes. Again, we see, we've got two people on the long, on long right now for... Um, Hellraisers. There is a trade coming in and a, a small backup is coming in the name of Markolov here. Bomb is down and uh, this is the kind of, this is the attrition they needed. Three on three on two now. You need to keep this advantage for the time being. But the say LDLC going to make a combined push through the double doors on mid. Going to get themselves up there. They've got loads of options here. Obviously the bomb is down on long. So they're going to decide to actually go for the split here and come in from two angles. And this is pretty... Oh, wow! NBK gets the shot straight away on Dozier. And this is a big deal right now. Looks like because of that, Kyoshima's going to... Ha they have time to, to both come from the same angle, which is the strongest play for them to do and to, to make it the most guaranteed. And Simple's kind of struggling, you know, looking for that player that could be flanking. He may have eliminated the possibilities now as LDLC come in. NBK, the first man in. We got simple spraying down Kyoshima. That's the one on one. That's what uh, LDLC couldn't have afforded to allow happen. That was the entire reason they combined uh, down long. And now MBK watching that flank. But he's got 30 seconds left. And Simple, he's just running for it. Running all the way around CT spawn. Going to find a shot. Oh, and Simple clutches it. He delivers for Hellraisers. And around that couldn't have gone LDLC's way or they would have been done. So sick stuff there. Sick stuff. That was a really, really a crucial round, as we can clearly see here for Hellraisers. They are two rounds behind. Another force buy. They can't even, uh, they still can't afford the AWP. There was one on the ground, but it was too far away for him to find. Um, LDLC Smiths with the AWP, but he won't find anyone through that smoke in mid for the time being. And uh, we may find some aggression here. We've got the LDLC team stacking up towards mid short area. Well, Hellraisers are in a good position to actually go for a bit of a sneaky push here on Simple maybe, but LDLC at the moment, they're just assessing their options. Obviously, we can see A Split would be the strongest play right now, but LDLC, they have to get the info to realize that. They're actually pushing up right now, and they're going to commit for this uh, this A play. We've got Smith taking the frag onto Markloff, and in they go onto that bomb site. And they do have Happy on A Long right now, like very far back on A Long towards T spawn, so he could be key right now. I have to see how this comes into play, though. He started to move once again, but up short. And it is a plant for short. So LDLC stacking their defenses towards that short and gambling it all on that. And Smiths are on the site. In goes the peak. Dozier are going to drop him straight away. And this is bad news here for LDLC. They lose Kiyoshima straight away as well. And Hellraiser's almost on the retake. They've got a fake defuse coming in. And that's going to be just happy left. In he comes. And out he goes. Hellraisers with another big, big performance to take the round. And LDLC, wonderful idea, but they couldn't execute. They've got the AWP. That's really, really important for Hellraisers. That will make them a lot stronger here as long as uh, Simple doesn't get picked early by um, Smiths in mid. LDLC with lots of money in the bag. One of them had uh, $10,000 in the bank. So we are going to see an AWP for both sides here. And again, we've got three heading towards long um, for... Hellraisers, but they're not going to find anything just yet. But Shox, as he so often does, walks out mid through the smoke, doesn't care, no respect. Up short now, just slowly making his way onto these angles. He does get smoked off, but already dropping Markolov. Hellraisers are in for a rough ride in this round against LDLC. And Kyoshima there, for, actually not the first man towards short. They do have Shoxy further up. And they're readying up for the safe split right now. 
Hellraisers, will they be able to defend this? It's about to come in. In go the grenades. They're going to make the call right now, and the rotation is going to come from B. But can Angel hold on long enough right now? We've got Shox, the man on the site, making the aggression through. And right here, Kyoshima going to smoke off short, delay that B rotation as the bomb does go down. We do have Kucha, or Dozy rather, in the pit, covering long. But the major push is on that A site itself, and they're expanding out of the push now, out of that A bomb site to take the frags straight to the players of Hellraise as they get them. And that's going to be around for LDLC as uh, that first opening pick from Shoxy. It was, it was just a clairvoyant pick, just moved straight out. Maybe it was eyes closed. Just found the frag instantly, and that put them so far ahead. Despite the few rounds that Hellraise has won, they have next to no money in the bank right now. They've got a Scout, a Famas, and pistols, and that's it. They've got four people with armor. Um, they are in trouble right now. This is going to be a very hard pick indeed. Um, Shoxy does get the first one, gets the second one as well, and that opens up short, leaving only one person on the, on the A bomb site here, and the CTs will be forced to rotate. NBK takes out Simple as he tries to go through tunnels, and this is next to over right now for Hellraiser. And there it is, 16-13. LDLC with a great result there against Hellraiser.